So this time we continue on the campus board. Last edition was about power. This edition will be about power endurance. Warning once again, you should start campusing. If you have a certain level in climbing, you should be well warmed up. And power endurance is even more aggressive and more dangerous than power because you do all these aggressive and dangerous exercises at the same time while being a little more tired. So you should do the power endurance training on the campus board if you have a certain experience on the campus board. I do power endurance training on the campus board doing one exercise six times with 30 second rest in between each exercise and then some macro break. In my case it's two minutes. I think it's wise if you start with that you can repeat each exercise maybe three or four times and taking even a little longer break. So you can either choose a really hard exercise for you where you can make only like one move or it can be more endurance oriented an exercise which could include like 10 moves it's all up to you what you want to train so this is an exercise going one three five seven eight nine but you can make it harder by doing it as statically as possible. So I just lock off, try to rest the other arm, and then reach for the next run. Like staying there pretty much as long as possible. This is very good exercise for like lead climbing. You see, especially in the routes which are super power endurance with absolutely no rest, then the ideal rest is when you can rest on the extended arm. But so many times there are no such rests, especially like on the lead World Cups. And that's why sometimes you have to learn how to rest on the arm, which is locked off. My power endurance training session is never the same. I always change the exercises. These exercises are some of my favorite, but I'm always trying to come up with something new. Or it also depends on the projects that I'm training for and stuff like this. This is a special flat anger training. Again, a little bit of compression, but at the same time you have to control it with your yeah. fingers. And there are not so many campus boards that I've seen so far where you just don't climb vertically, but you just traverse horizontally. This is my favorite exercise, that's the last one. Just one hand is lower, the upper hand is higher, and it's much more climbing like pull-ups because while climbing you almost never have two hands evenly. It's always like uneven. Yeah. Yeah. Power endurance training on the campus board can be quite tough for your skin. If you only have one set of rungs, it can be very intensive because then the rung, the crimp, just bites at the very same spot of your skin. It's ideal if you have different kind of holes, not only crimps, but some slopers, pinches and jugs. So like that, if one kind of hole kind of gets painful, you can switch for another one.